Okay, the second major category of intellectual property is patent. Um, and before we get into patent, I should go back to uh, copyright in a sense. And it's not really going back, it's using copyright to address some principles that become important in patent. Um, as a published author, I suppose that I should be more on the side of copyright. Um, I have, after all, had people steal my material. Uh, I wrote a dictionary. Um, somebody at one point stole the entire dictionary and passed it off as his own work. Um, now, uh, two factors here, both of which are um, important in terms of intellectual property in general. The the first being the difficulty of protecting yourself, of um, enforcing your copyright, patent, trademark, trade secret, um, and oh, the the trouble you have to go to to protect yourself. So we have these supposed protections um, in terms of intellectual property, but uh, it's actually um, rather difficult, argu arduous, time-consuming, and often expensive to defend your intellectual property, um, even against the most egregious violations. And a couple of points, and uh, one is the, uh, well, as I've mentioned, that often these protections are much more suited to companies and provide much more uh, protection to companies than to individuals, the individual inventors. Um, uh, one uh, famous case was that of Alexander Graham Bell inventing the telephone, and then can't remember if it was General Electric or Westinghouse that uh, produced their own telephones without paying royalties or licensing or anything like that and this ended up in court and uh, eventually he won but I mean it was a near run thing and so um, you know he as an individual even though he was he was making money uh, off the invention at the time uh, still the expense of defending the patent was, you know, not insubstantial. So, um, it's, you know, individuals very often don't have the resources to defend themselves and their protections. And, uh... Well, anyways, it's an, enough said about that, but just, you know, bear it in mind. It's, as I said, you know, it's not automatic protections as uh, criminal law is. Um, and it is one of the more difficult areas of, of civil law um, in terms of protections. So, um, you know, be aware of that. Um, there's... Uh, 
you know, a fairly good case that people can make that there is a, a level of unfairness in terms of intellectual property um, the, and the protections thereof. Um, now, uh, uh, as I say, you know, I've, I've, um, I'm a published author. Um, I, you would expect me to have more sympathy with the concept of intellectual property in general, but, you know, I kind of go along with the, um, Eastern position that we talked about before. Um, you know, just because you invented it first, what gives you the right to prevent other people from from using it? Now, as I say, you know, this, this comes out in copyright, but um, and, and in a sense it's most clearly established in, in copyright, but um, it has a lot to do with patents, and particularly what can you patent and what can you not patent. Um, now, um, the thing is that patents are supposed to cover, govern inventions, devices. So um, you should have um, an actual device. Uh, uh, the um, patent offices these days are, uh, you know, they, they will accept drawings, um, even if you haven't, and, and in many cases, even if you don't plan to build the actual device and so they're issuing patents these ways and uh, since comes patent trolls and I will get into patent trolls um, because I've got a lot of experience with patent trolls and I really hate them but um, so it's supposed to be a device and um, then we have issues of well what actually is a device it shouldn't just be an idea, but um, American uh, patent uh, registration allows for particularly software. Um, uh, very few other jurisdictions allow people to patent software because software is not a device as such. The important part uh, is not the actual code, uh, you know, if, if it were, you could protect it with copyright. The important part is the idea, and ideas are not patentable. Um, and software, for example, um, should not be a... Uh, uh, you, you shouldn't... Uh, well, the, the important thing in, in a piece of software is not the actual code necessarily. But the idea, the, the algorithm, the algorithm is an idea, it's a process. And American uh, patent law allows you uh, to patent business processes, to patent software, um, to patent DNA, uh, which a lot of people find really bizarre. Um, so, um, you know, we've, we've got different areas that people disagree on what is patentable. It should be uh, novel, useful, and non-obvious. Um, so, you shouldn't be able to patent the wheel. The wheel is an obvious invention, besides it being, you know, thousands of years of prior art. Uh, and that's, well, that's, that's the novel part. It should be new. Uh, nobody should have done it before. If there is prior art, if somebody has done it before, then they should be able to invalidate the patent and that's where I come in um, so I suppose maybe uh, we'll give patent uh, two sessions and we'll get into some of this stuff in more detail in the next one